Ambassador Athena Goodman is with us here today. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Yeah. You've got a new book out at the moment called The Seventh Riddle, Episode 2. So can you tell me a little bit about that book and the kind of idea of it? Okay. Um, Seventh Riddle is a mystery book. Uh, It's... um, it has about the story character has seven riddles that he has to solve in order wow. to win a million dollars. The book is actually more about revenge and uh, trying to track down some international thieves. Um, yeah. However, um, we're also using it as a game that others can play. Yeah. And they can actually play interactively from across the world. Um, and one of the things we have is that we have this thing called an Animal Crossing game. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. By Nintendo, yes. Mm. This book, and we are, it's going to be launched on August twenty eighth, and we have a lot of people that are going to be playing and uh, are raising money for a charity purpose. Yeah, and doing all these riddles to win all this money in the book is it kind of like a game show that the characters in, or is it a bit of an unusual situation? What's the context? What's the context from the book? Um, it's about well, first of all, it was about the character, um, yeah. the concept of having characters play a game. Um, and again, it's all about interacting with other people from all over the place. Because remember, last year, everybody was staying home. Yeah. Um, and so they have really <laughs> nothing to do. <laughs> so it was a good way to interact with people. <laughs> mm, yeah. And what gave you the idea for this book, then? Mm, well, I love solving riddles and puzzles. Um, yeah. And my my favorite character, my favorite dumb writer is Agatha Christie, uh, yeah. and so I thought, you know, why don't I write something a mystery that um, that can challenge me and challenge the readers as well. Um, even Dan Brown, he wrote uh, the Da Vinci Code uh, that was tough. I still haven't figured that one out yet, <laughs> at least not yeah. from the book. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and how long did the book take you to write? Because I suppose you will have had a lot of time over this past year staying at home. I know. Well, I've been doing a lot of research uh, yeah. and uh, development. And so we've also been developing the website um, and uh, the app itself. Is, the app is what's taking the time. Uh, yeah. So it, it's, takes, it, it's about seven series, seven books in series. Wow. And uh, it's taken about two week, two months to actually get the one, the one episode ready. Yeah. And doing seven books in a series, is it hard to keep the ideas coming to you? Uh, well, what I'm finding is um, we have a tagline. It's called where every clue comes from you. And yeah. it's essentially the, the reader as they read and they um, respond to the questions and even post on the chat rooms, they tell us certain things that they like, they don't like and so forth. And so we kind of revise the storyline based on their interests or what they're finding. Um, and, and, and so they're actually more involved in the story than they think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how do you get into that mindset to help you write? Is there anything you do to sort of focus on the book at a particular moment? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, actually, you know what happens? It comes from anger. When, you, when you're upset about something, then your mind wants to take the, 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 the motion and put it to what sounds constructive. So mm-hmm. then I kind of, you know, drop everything from around me and just start to think about what will my character do? Um, yeah. So I started getting into that role. Mm. And are there any authors that you feel have inspired you particularly? Well, number one is Agatha Christie. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done some gaming apps as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we have, um, for, for each one of our books, we have uh, a, a, a kid's app. Um, we have Riddle apps. We have, um, you know, math uh, educational apps. And like I said, for this one, we have, actually, we have two apps, one for the Android. Um, and that's more like an escape the room uh, mystery uh, app. And then the other one is going to be, um, of course, the, the Crunchy Island. It is um, being designed by Crunchy Island, by the way. Um, yeah. And so that's a specific. Um, Nintendo game. Yeah, absolutely. Is that kind of fun to develop a game? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, especially when you have enthusiasm all over the world. They, they just sit there, like hundreds of thousands of people sit there and they play these games. Yeah. Last year, it was the hottest selling game in the whole country, in the world, actually. It was wow. hard to get a Nintendo Switch. 
<laughs> yeah, and I guess because you are a good writer and good at coming up with stories, are you also quite creative when it comes to games as well? Then yes, um, we have. We, well, like I said, we have a lot of different types of games. Like, yeah. um, you know, we design app. Or I design apps that have things to do with um, a magazine. So it's a magazine mm. app or book app or um, a gaming app or some kind of utility function app. Um, productivity for your work uh, so we have all types all styles mm, yeah and how hard is it to actually develop the game i take it you've probably hired some other people to do the technical stuff right oh definitely <laughs> uh it's well i think the hardest part is coming up with the idea for the mm. project because um you'll find that a lot of times you'll hire someone, but they don't they have, just have the technical know-how. So okay. they rely on you to say, well, how do you want this to be done? How does the character look? How does the background look? Um, mm. How do you interact? What should we do in here? And so forth. I, I have to constantly sit down with my team and go, okay, um, let's see, the character enters the room, but she has to find this puzzle or this clue or something like that. So there's all these kinds of different things um, that you have to think about ahead of time. Yeah. And would you say you've enjoyed coming up with the games or the books the most? Uh, I think the games. <laughs> I think the games the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I guess the game just goes so well with the book. Once you've finished yeah. the book, you know there's more and you can have even more fun by playing the games 24-7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, one nice thing is that when they play the game, we have this... Um, they get to win prizes, lots yeah. of nice prizes. Like for example, Ooh. we have one of these prizes that's going to be given away in the wow. room, if you can see this well. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of being blocked out by the green screen, but I think I can make out it's a, some sort of <coughs> Nintendo Switch, perhaps? Yeah, Switch, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that and, is quite impressive, physical prizes, and yeah. you know, you can see it for real. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and we have we've been doing actual giveaways every two months um yeah. and so we have given away things like kindles kindle fires um cash yeah. um eventually up to the seventh riddle when we get there we'll have like cash prizes and about ten thousand dollars cash or something yeah. like that how are you able to afford all this luxurious prizes then <laughs> <laughs> well some of it comes from uh um, from company donations, like they would give you a product to sponsor. Um, others come from sales of other projects. So we uh, set aside some of our profits to, you know, you know purchase some of these games uh, to help build the project up. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of games, the prizes aren't really that impressive or are just fake. <laughs> Whereas this one, it's quite clear that you're going to get something that's worth the money. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah and download for a cause what is that okay so um the whole, one of the, the main mission of this project basically is to um to help build three hot we're actually trying to build three hospitals one in wow. the united states one in uh asia somewhere and one in africa somewhere um so our first mission is really um it's about getting the first clinic set up um yeah. and we're trying to do things like purchase a mobile clinic van that we can send out into the different countries that are having issues right now with the COVID things, with the vaccines, and be able to send it out to start helping vaccinate in those areas. Because a lot of areas, as you know, are not vaccinated yet. Mm. Um, so our team, we have a medical team uh, that will go out there and actually set up and do these things as quickly as possible. Yeah, and I take it it's downloading the app that helps with this cause, right? Yes, exactly. Download the app and the book as well. Yeah, it's quite a good cause because I guess particularly in this last year, it's been more important than ever that we need to help these countries that aren't as fortunate as us. That is true. Um, but there's also a, a, a second part of that is because mm. The, um, there's a lot of technology that's outside that, you know, can help and facilitate in our country. Like, for example, something like 3D printing. Um, mm -hmm. That's a new technology that can come in. And when you then you kind of uh, set up your building structures like that, your house or your hospitals or things like that and use that technology, you can build in like uh, two thirds of the time less. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also, um, you know, have stronger facilities and, uh, you know, cost so much more less than, you know, traditional building. So 
Mm. That's one thing we're trying to bring in as well to the to our countries. Yeah, for sure. And you've also written some other books as well, like mm -hmm. cookbooks and more non-fiction things, like exercising <laughs> and dieting books as well. Is yes. that quite fun work to do as well? Actually, yes, because a lot of it is about testing who you are. Mm. Um, you know, we've learned to. <laughs> I just want to say this: a lot of us have sat here in our chairs and got a little extra heavier. Yeah. <laughs> last year. So, <laughs> so we've had to learn to come up with some ways to be healthy and uh you know exercising and things like that so i got very much into um you know creating some healthy foods not only for me but for also my patients um yeah. uh, also exercising you know because you have to take the patients and walk with them and you know mm. treat to figure out how to get them healthier uh, so that became a very big focus in my life last year. Yeah, and to be able to do these books, it takes a bit of skill to sort of have an expertise. And, you know, you do cookbooks and exercise and dieting and food management. So I guess you know quite a lot about many things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love school. I love learning every single day. I'm a person who never stops learning. That's the interesting thing part. Mm. And how come you know so much? Is it just you've always been able to cook and been interested in these things then? I think, yes. I think when you, one of, one of my biggest things is that I always look at people's, different people's situation. And whenever somebody has a need for something, whether, like, for example, my patients now need um, food that is less salt, um, less fat, uh, less fat, um, you know, flour and things in their diet. So then you have to learn, go and learn how to do these things. Um, so I, I went out and I studied in different areas. Um, also, um, if it's like, for example, the exercise, I go to talk to the person, the people who actually know a lot more about these things and I learn from them. And so yeah. it's easier and it's faster if you listen to someone who has already done it before. Yeah. And how does that compare to writing non-fiction books? Is it easier <laughs> or harder? Uh it depends on which nonfiction book you're talking about. Um, <laughs> nonfiction book requires a lot of creativity, and you have to sit there and think and think and think, and you have to like you have to play out the story in your mind. You have to yeah. sit there and go, "Hmm, what would happen in this story?" Um, yeah. Whereas, you know, some of the nonfictions that I do, like for example, I have a bunch of children book series, and the series are based on the kids that I hang out with. So yeah. whenever I'm talking to a child or even talking to my cat. <laughs> you get to see the funny things that they do and then you want to write about them in a storyline <laughs> so, yeah like like my cat actually i think my cat talks <laughs> so um i made a story about a cat who talks and who's very intelligent and does all kinds of interesting things <laughs> Oh yeah, love books about animals. <laughs> I guess if you think your cat talks, you're either true or you're going insane. I don't know. I don't know either, but <laughs> it's a good way to explore something and the, the concept, though. You can figure it out, try to play around with it. Mm, yeah. So the app then, where is that available and how much are all the games and things? Okay, so the app will be available um, on August 20th, actually. Uh, so it'll be available in the Android store. Um, yeah. The other one will also be available online. So for those yeah. who are signed up into our website, um, whether it's atinagoodman.com or whether it's the, the sevenmiddlebook.com, um, we have links as to you know when those things are coming up. And so it's good mm -hmm. to for people to sign up um, on our email list um, so they can get notified right away for each yeah. thing that comes up. Because every month there's always something coming out. Uh, whether it's a giveaway uh, or whether it's the book is coming out or app is coming out. So we always have exciting news coming out every month. Yeah. And do you get up to anything else in your spare time when you're not making apps and loads of books? I used to travel overseas. I used to do the clinics in different countries, lower countries. Um, but <laughs> these days, uh, we're kind of staying here right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure and do you think there will be more books and games on the way in oh, the years to come oh definitely yes um we this book is going to continue on until like march 20 march 28 so like i said every wow. two months we'll have a new episode releasing um plus we also have other books on kindle Vella. i'm not sure it's been released as yet but uh yeah. it's now currently live so we have two series there um, we have several books on Amazon Kindle. 
Um, and then all the other books does like the Nook and Barnes and Noble. So they're all there. Yeah. Um, so each month again, we'll be uploading and having new things, new activities. Yeah, absolutely. So it's just basically everywhere people can find books online and Amazon that the books are located then all the yes. usual places. Yes. <laughs> yes. And are you on any kind of social media for us to keep up with you? Yes. Actually, we have a discord group on mm. uh, Facebook. Uh, as well as a Facebook page. So again, it's my my username, I think my think my pen name, I think the Goodman. Um, you can find me on Twitter, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn. Uh, everywhere mm. and i'm just wondering what might be next for you because you've cornered the fiction books the cookbooks and games i don't know what's next on the list are you going to make a movie or something actually very good <laughs> <laughs> well first of all let me tell you about the first thing um yeah. there's a song we just have we just released it uh it's Ooh. um it's called winds of change um i'm looking for celine dion uh oh. mariah carey or jennifer hudson to sing the song wow. so i've been trying to reach out to those individuals yeah. um so that song is being launched soon and then the next thing is actually a movie it's one of my wishes that this uh book this particular book become a movie yeah that's quite ambitious dreams then getting one of the <laughs> three of them to sing the song but hopefully it works out for you <laughs> 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 Yeah, I believe all things are possible. <laughs> yeah, there can be miracles when you believe. That is true. Very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming on the show today. It's been great to have you here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.